Here we are in the shed. We got some insulation. Obviously I picked up the wrong insulation, it's too wide. But we need to get this thing cleared out. We need to make some room. Organize this. And you can see I got some four by fours here. I need to make a bench. I'm gonna set the bench there. Maybe a couple shelves under it. I'm not sure. I may set that big black toolbox. That's about four foot wide or thereabout. I may slide that underneath that, which I'm thinking I want to do. I'd like to have a spot. I'll have to plan this out so I have enough surface area, but I also want to leave enough room for hopefully the generator to sneak right in between the bench legs. I have to think on that. But we'll figure it out. That's our next. We have to get all this cleaned up so I can get all of that stuff out of there. If we can find free space, by God, we fill it up with something. Everything from an Alaska saw to propane heat to stove Fence, tents, radiant heaters, sinks. You get the general idea. We got to make this neat. Because I need this corner. And I think most of you know why I want that corner. If not, there's a hint on the tail end of last week's video. It's sitting right outside the door here. Well, we were working in the cool morning temps, and we did a poor job on filming, but we we cut four legs out of the 4x4, four four, about 32 inches, 30, I think I went 36 inches, and then it's about 66, 69 inches in length there, 24 inch width, and you can see a simple frame, um, really sturdy, just wood screws. I wish all my projects and work could be done in about 30 seconds like this. It'd make my life a lot easier. Well, we made a little progress. AC is on. Got a bench. Generator's gonna go right where that toolbox is, the Milwaukee stuff. Pull that out when it's starting to come in. And just got to put some shelving up for that stuff. That corner will be free for the stove or whatever. First, we're going to do what's left of the ceiling on the insulation. We're going to store the insulation temporarily right here. Because it's supposed to rain. So we got to get it in dry again. But that made a lot of room. Really happy with, got a little shelf underneath there. I had to keep it right high enough for that black box to come out and that generator to come out. But a lot of these boxes of nails are about that height, so we'll be able to shove some of that stuff in there too. It's like an RV. Every little nick and nook and cranny is going to help. Well, bench is done. I'm glad it's done. Well, we're heading back. We've been up there a little over a week. We're going to get back before everybody gets off on the 4th. I go on call on that Friday, so I'm going to go back where we have really good internet. I don't know what it is, AT&T and the MiFi game. Internet was really good last year. This year to upload a video took 17 hours. We got some things to do. I want to remind everybody, even though you'll probably see this after the 4th, be careful out there. You never know what's going to happen. I heard that was a tour bus, but it looks like an RV. Could be two separate instances, but um, yeah. Watch out for others out there. Help them if you can. And be safe. We had plenty of time to discuss 
a lot of things on the way home. It's a couple hour drive. So we're contemplating on the truck, our cab and our land, some neighbor's land. And I think we came to the conclusion we're not changing much. We're sticking to our plan. The plan's worked well for us. So I think we're going to keep our truck. We're going to pursue the RV stuff down the road. Not going to sell our land. Um, we just don't think we could find anything that uh, has the view and close enough to the road system, but still the solitude that we need. So that's kind of where we're at. We like what we got. Status quo. We'll catch you next time. Hopefully you find your little slice of heaven and maybe even a little cup of gold to make that slice of heaven more enjoyable. As the saying goes, till next time.